what's up you guys it's Julia and welcome back to our channel so welcome back everything's a little bit different now I have no idea how this video is gonna turn out I already filmed this video once and I had to use a different camera than I normally do because the camera I normally use is my school camera but that camera like it was all choppy and it stopped recording at times and it was a freaking mess so I decided that it was too difficult to try and fix that so I'm just gonna start from scratch I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me because where I am there's a fish tank over there so that's probably all the white noise you're hearing so yeah I'm just gonna tell you the story that it's not as bothersome to me now as it was at the time but I was pretty heated when I recorded it the first time and that was a week or so after it happened and now it's been a couple weeks and so <sighs> I just, I think you should hear this. Not that I think you should hear this, but it was just something that kind of, you know, bothered me. Like, there's no reason for it to have happened, but it did. A couple weeks ago, it was prom. Friday of a couple weeks ago was prom. So the Thursday before, my friends and I were like, okay, let's go get our nails done. We'll go to the same place we went to last year. They did a really good job last year and we had fun. Let's just do it again. I was in charge of booking the appointment. And of course, my lazy ass waited until the last possible minute to call the store and be like hey we need an appointment at like nine o'clock i needed to be at my school for like this rehearsal for our spring concert and so on my way to school i decided i should call the nail salon so i was like hi can we get an appointment for 11 we need three people both manny's and petty's and they were like, um, yeah, we can get you one at like 11.30 and then another one at like 11.45 and then we can do one person but just a manicure at 12.45. I was like, 12.45? We need to, we need it for 11. And she was like, yeah, well, we can't really do anybody at 11, so maybe you should like wait. I was like, well, we can't really wait. There's a set amount of time we have. And we can't really do before 11 because we have to be here until 11. And we can't really do like 12.45 because we don't know what time we need to be back. And so she was like, yeah, well, if you come in, we might have something. And I don't get that. Because like, how does that make sense? Like, if we come in, you can get us in. But if we call ahead, you can't. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. But, you know, whatever. She just told us that we needed to call ahead. We need to come in and maybe she would do something for us. So I go to my friend and I'm like, hey, look, I'm sorry. I was really lazy. I didn't call until this morning and they can't get us in. But they said we can walk in. She's like, okay, cool, whatever. We'll just go and walk in. And so that's what we did. At 11.15ish, we walked in and they got us all done. They got our pedicures done, our manicures done. And so my friends all got tips and I just got this normal, like, I got a gel manicure. But they put, like, lotion on my hands. Oh, I didn't even bring the thing I wanted to bring. Anyway, so they put lotion on my hands, but then I needed to pay. So I carry around, like when I'm at school, I just carry around this lanyard that has like a little pocket for my license, my key card to get in and out of the buildings at school, and my credit card. I usually keep my license and my credit card in the same little compartment because I don't want people knowing like I have my credit card on me at all times. I was trying to get my credit card out from behind my ID. And I couldn't, like my hands were too slippery because they had just put lotion on it. I wasn't all that worried about my manicure because it was gel so it was all ready to go. So I was just having issues like trying to get it out. So then my friends with their tips tried to get it out and they almost broke their nails. We were like standing there struggling for like what had to be 15 minutes. And the ladies just stood there at the front desk like just kind of tweeting their thumbs and like nah, nah, nah. And then after 15 minutes the lady goes, you look like you need some help. And I turned to her and I'm like, yeah, I really think I do. And she's like, let me help. And she was like trying to get it out. And then she broke my thing. So she was trying to get it out. And then she broke my lanyard. Just broke it. And she's like, yeah, I think we're going to need to use scissors to cut it out. The thing is, it's not just like a lanyard that says like my school name on it or something like cloth. It's a leather coach lanyard. I asked for it for Christmas. I got it. And it's like not a cheap item. It's like $50 on sale. And she's just like, yeah, we're going to need to cut it. And I was like, um, I really don't want to do that. Do you think we could just try a little more to get it out? She's like, no, we're going to have to cut it. And so she got scissors out and cut the plastic out of my lanyard. And I was just like standing there like, oh my God, <laughs> my mom's going to kill me. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Oh my God. Oh my God. And yeah, so that happened. I paid for the thing. It ended up being like 
50 something dollars because I got a manicure and a pedicure and gel and whatever and French and whatever. I was like, okay, whatever. I tipped the um, lady who did my nails. She was super nice. She was the best. I love her. Disclaimer, like, this is nothing about the nail salon. This is nothing bad about the nail salon. This is nothing bad about the lady who did my nails. I just, it's just, and yeah, you know, whatever. So my friends and I were like, okay, let's go grab lunch before we have to go back. We're going to go to Wegmans, which is like a grocery store, but they also have a cafe. So we went to Wegmans, I got like sushi and a cookie, and my friends got like sushi and like a cookie and like a cannoli or whatever. And so we were driving back to the school because we were going to go eat lunch at the school so we could be with all our friends and we wouldn't be late to get back to wherever we needed to be. So we were driving back to the school and I'm like, shit, I don't have my water bottle. Now, if you know me or if you've like watched any of my videos, you always see me like either with a smart water um, a Starbucks water or um, a water bottle in like a Columbia water bottle. Today I don't really have any of those, I'm just kind of using this thing because I'm at home and I haven't, I had a smart water but I drink it all. I'm always with a water. If I'm not, there's something wrong. Like you always see me with water. And so I brought my water bottle with me the entire day and I was like, shit, I think I left it at the nail salon because I didn't bring, I didn't bring it into Wegmans. We all remembered that I didn't bring it into Wegmans, but I remember bringing it into the nail salon. So I was like, oh shit. And my friend's like, don't worry about it. We can just drive back. We have plenty of time. So she drives me back to the nail salon and drops me off out front to, to go get my water bottle. And so I walk in and I walk up to the front desk. Now let me explain to you the people who were there. There was a bunch of nice workers and they were all totally fine. They were all like, like normally you feel like they're talking about you in a different language, but these kind of, they kind of all seemed to want you to be in on the joke when they were talking. So they wouldn't really speak in another language. They just kind of speak English and it was really nice. And it was really like, it felt very welcoming there when normally like at nail salons, I don't always feel welcome because I think they're talking about me. But there were these two white workers, one of them, was like he looked like he just walked out of the ocean he was wearing like these surfer flip-flops with like a tie-dye shirt and some shorts granted it was not it was like not 90 it was like 75 80 degrees out so i understand why he was wearing shorts and a t-shirt and he had like these frosted tips like 2004 justin timberlake it was the most disgusting look and he was like probably 30 or 40 pounds overweight I didn't think there was anything wrong with him. He seemed to be acting very kindly towards his um, salon patients. And so at first I didn't think there was anything wrong with him. Then there was the other lady. The other lady kind of looked like, I don't know, she had dark hair and she was kind of on the heavier side. And not that there's anything wrong with that. I really don't judge people on that, but that's just kind of like a thing I noticed about her. She was a little bit shorter. So I go up to the desk and she's working at the desk. And I say, hi, um, I left, I think I might have left my water bottle here. Lights have been going on and off all over my basement for a while. Um, anyway, so I was like, I think I kind of left my water bottle here. Do you think I could look for it? And she was like, um, no, there's no water bottle here. And I was like, well, can I look around, like, at my, like, where I got my toes done, where, like, just where I got my nails done? And she's like, no. And I was like, can I just... Is there anything back there? Like maybe you have one behind the counter. Like maybe I left it on the counter when I was trying to get my credit card out. She was like, there's nothing back here. And I was like, I'm gonna go look around. So I went to go look around, I couldn't find it. I mean, it's not like, it's not a terribly expensive. I mean, it's an expensive water bottle. Like it's expensive for a water bottle. It was like $20. It's like one of those Columbia water bottles. It was pink, it was really cute, it was my favorite. I mean, it's not like something you would steal. It's not like it was a phone or like maybe my debit card or like a purse or something. It was a water bottle, but this lady refused to let me look for it. And so as I was looking around the nail salon, this lady and her like surfer boyfriend were staring me down. And I mean, I don't understand, like, the thing is, why can't I look for my water bottle? It's not like I'm, con I'm accusing you of stealing something. It's not like I'm doing anything wrong. It's just a water bottle that I mistakenly left there. It's, not, it's nothing that they did wrong. It's something that I did wrong. And they wouldn't let me look at this water bottle. So then her and her boyfriend were just staring at me and glaring at me with the most rude looks on their faces. Like, what the hell? I just, I was so pissed. I was like, why are you doing this? Like, nobody else, none of the other workers or the owner of the place even gave a shit. They wanted me to go look for my water bottle, but this lady working at the front desk did not want me to look for it. 
I mean, just like, and her like little surfer dude boyfriend over there was doing somebody's nails and he was glaring at me instead of doing this person's nails. I was just so uncomfortable. And all I wanted was a stupid water bottle and she was like, I think it's not here. I think you should go. So I left and I didn't get my water bottle and I'm really upset about it because I have a really, like I only really drink, I mean, this is like so pretentious, but like I only drink out of either the Columbia water bottles, is it Columbia? Or it's Camelback. <laughs> it's Camelback. I don't know why I always feel like it's Columbia. I only drink out of Camelback water bottles, like I, or a venti iced water from Starbucks or a smart water. Like I'm really like, <laughs> I don't know, it's just some weird thing in my head. Like I drink more water when I drink from one of those, so I always drink those. I, I can only afford so many water bottles. I can't just keep buying them. Like Alexa in her last video with her like 30 water bottles, like <laughs> I love her, but that was a lot of water bottles, Alexa. Yeah, so it was just, it hurt me and I just wanted to talk about it. Not as passionate in this video as I was in the other one because I've kind of gotten over it. I need to get a new camera. I broke my tripod in the last video, so I'm just kind of in a weird place right now. I need to like, I'm trying to uh, um, I'm trying to save up for like a better system so I can have a better system before I go away to school so I'm super excited I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you did leave a comment like the video I don't know subscribe to our channel we would love it we honestly really want to keep doing some putting out some great content for you guys it's summer so I'm traveling a lot I'm sure Alexa's traveling a lot and so I'm going to have a lot of awesome like travel vlogs and stuff for you. I'm going to try and do like those artsy travel vlogs and see how that turns out. But yeah, so I'm really excited for this summer and I'm really excited for you guys to see what's going on. And I just hope you had a great time. I don't fucking know what I'm saying. I'm really bad at outros. But anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. You know, all that stuff. <laughs> Bye guys.